Hello, thank you for joining me again. Um, first of all today, before we get going, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos and commented on the last few. Um, I know I haven't replied to very many of you, um, but I don't know if, you can, if you've noticed, but Simon's uploading videos like every day at the moment, so it's really hard to get onto my channel, so I do apologise. Um, I've been pointed in this direction today by somebody called Stuart Pickard, who's on Facebook. Um, he's good, good banter, enjoy it. Um, now he told me to, to try a Manchester Marble Arch um, Ginger. Now I've got one today, which um, I had here all along actually. There you are. So, um, Simon has been sent that from my brewery tap, so thank you. Um, I'm going to try this. Uh, I hope it's the one you, Stuart, I hope it's the one you wanted me to try because they actually do two. They also do the, um, the ginger marble, which is 4.5%, but I, I've got this one instead, so sorry if this is the wrong one. Um, enough waffle anyway, I should get on with it. Just get my... Uh, Thing. Let's get this open then and have a good look. Give it a whiff. Mm. Yeah, it smells good. Now, another thing. I've got a wine glass, an oversized wine glass today. Um, Simon actually had an accident with our other glass. With that nicer one, but never mind. So, I'm just going to pretend I'm sophisticated. Here we go then. Oh wow, look at the colour on that. It's lovely. It smells good too. There you go. So I'm just going to give that a little time to settle a little bit. It's actually, this one is, it's um, actually a bottle conditioned ale. So I think it's probably one of my first proper bottle conditioned ales that I've tried, anyway. So let's have a look. The head's going down nicely actually now. It doesn't look too clear, I don't know, perhaps I've done something a bit wrong there. Let's have a try anyway, see what it tastes like. Mmm. And I've got to say, it's, it's less gingery than uh, previous ginger beers that I've done. This is definitely more of a beer than ginger, if that makes sense. A lot more of a beer than... sounds really strange but right now I can't taste any ginger at all. Now it says on here fiery and intense. Um, but, no, that's really strange I can't. Perhaps I'm just expecting a bit more ginger than actual ginger flavours. Well, I'd say it's, it's a, a nice beer, it's very refreshing actually. I think perhaps maybe it's a wee bit too cold, so what I'll do is save the rest for later and have another try and just see. But I think, as it is now, it's more of a hoppy, hoppy kind of beer than a ginger kind of beer but there's um, not really much on here to say to help me out to be honest with you help no um i'll tell you a bit more about the brewery then i'll have another go in a minute so there we go 
Manchester Marble Brewery, organic ginger, 6%. Now these, these guys brew up in Manchester and you probably all have heard of the, um, the, the Marble Brewery is actually located behind the pub, the Marble Arch pub, and it's a big glass wall I believe and you can see everything that goes on there, which is pretty cool. Ooh, get a little bit of the ginger warmth now coming through. I guess the, the more you drink, the closer you get to the bottom of the glass, the more ginger comes out, which is it's quite nice actually. I do enjoy that in a ginger beer. And plenty of natural carbonation in there. And this is a wine glass, so there's no, um, I, I don't know, I don't think you'll be able to see it. But you can see the, the bubbles going up there. Unless it's just a dirty glass. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the ginger bean. I'm not going to drink it all today. I've got, um, I think I've got visitors later, so I better not drink it all, especially 6%. Oh, it would be a nightmare. Now, actually smelling the aroma I'm getting off this here, I'd say more honey, but I don't know where that's coming from. Anyway, a nice beer. I think I quite enjoy it. Now, today, this is going to be my last ginger beer. I'm, I've decided to move on a little bit. And I think I'm going to do something, um, something different, and something for Chad, because um, Chad said I mm, don't really like ginger beer, so I'm going to do something you do like, Chad. I'm going to do something chocolatey. We have to wait and see. I'll do that next week. Um, and I should give you the, I'll give you the website for these guys actually. Now it's www marblebeers.com but I've, I've logged on to them there's actually not very much on there um, it's just more of their telephone numbers and address so if you did want to have a look up to find out a bit about the brewery and what have you oh excuse me I'd actually go to Wikipedia and search it on there and then you can get some, some good info on it and I should give you mybrewerytap.com they provided us with the ginger so Thank you to them for that. And, Stuart, if it is the wrong one, the, the wrong ginger, I'm going up to the GBBF next week. It's less than a week now. Um, I have my eyebrows done in uh, readiness. So, yeah, we're going up on Tuesday. So, hopefully, they'll be there. And if they are, I'll see if I can try. The, the ginger marble. Anyway, cheers, thank you, thanks for joining me again. Um, comments, I love them, keep them coming. You can follow me on Twitter, Mrs. Real Ale Guide, or Facebook, Mrs. Real Ale Guide. And cheers, see you soon. Bye.